Hey guys, it's Charlie. Wow. It's been a long time since I've said that. Um, it's actually weird talking to a video camera now. I'm used to talking to my phone because I'll still occasionally make videos on <clears throat> Instagram. I already filmed this once and realized they made a bunch of mistakes. Uh, and I really want to have minimal editing. You are in my dining room. Those are my birds. Guys. They're going to be um, chirping because you're right next to them. The dining room is the, the most well-lit area of my house around this time of day. And it happens to be where the birds live. So um, they're going to be talking a little bit in the background. So, wow. Um, where have I been? What have I been doing? Well, <laughs> it's funny you should ask. I'm just kidding. I know you didn't actually ask. Uh, the last time that I was consistently making videos, I think was like 2016. I made a couple, I think, in 2017, and then I've made one or two between 2017 and now. And there's a lot of stuff that has happened between those two points in time. I'm not going to tell you everything that happened because we would be here for hours. But basically, we moved. We bought a house. Um, you won't believe this, but I actually cut my hair to, like, here. But I've still been gone so long that it's already grown back. I'm not, That's not even a fucking joke. That's the truth. Like... That's not me being funny. I actually did that. Um, I actually, I cut it January of 2019. Yes, 2019. It, it grows super fast. So it's, it's, it's been back to my normal length since like last summer. So it was like a year and a half and it was right back almost as long as it was when I cut it. But um, yeah, so we bought a house. We don't live in Madison anymore, which I'm really sad about because I love Madison so much. Uh, I overcame a really big uh, PTSD flare-up, which I talked about briefly on my channel um, when I was still active years ago. I missed my 10-year anniversary on YouTube. I started U this YouTube channel in 2009, and in 2019, I missed it because I wasn't making videos. And I've thought about coming back for a while. Um, I just don't really have a lot to say, you know? Uh, which is weird for people who know me, they might be like, I always have something to say about something. But no, I just, yeah, uh, I've gotten older and I'm 35 now, which is, I started this channel when I was, I think, 23. Yeah, I was 23. That's a long time. And, uh, God, that means that, like, those of you who have been with me since the beginning have known me or known of me <laughs> for 12 years, which is crazy. Nozomi is 12. Nozomi is 12. She was, like, a little under a year when I first started the channel. Um, I've made all of my videos that were hosted on my channel private. Any that are in playlists, um, I think, were hosted on other channels, probably Chris Ashburn's when we were doing Tea and Tarot. But, yeah, all my videos I made private earlier this year just... There's a lot of stuff that I'm kind of, uh, that's like a second puberty almost. Um, I don't know, there's so many things that I want to talk about, but I feel like I don't have enough time to talk about them. Um, I think the biggest thing for me is the space and time and emptiness. And, uh, I've been really connecting with, uh, my Japanese heritage a lot the past few years. Um, I was a big focus on it recently this year. The the events happening in Atlanta really uh, kind of, I had a, a weird racial identity reckoning, reckoning that happened when that all happened. And um, it's been nice because where we live now, I'm actually closer to my Japanese grandma. So haven't gotten to see her at all this year or last year because of COVID, but um, before that I was able to see her more than I had previously, which is something that's very important to me. She's the only surviving grandparent I have left. Um, and there's a concept in Japan, it's called ma. And it's basically, it translates to emptiness. Like my grandma's like, well, it means emptiness. But the concept itself is a bit more nuanced and, and deeper than that. It's because it's not just like emptiness, but it's 
uh, the importance of negative space. So if you're looking at paintings, um, and you see in Japan they'll have a big part of the canvas will actually be blank, and that's because that's that's intentional. Um, in their decor you'll see a lot of it's very sparse. It's very similar to like um, like Swedish uh, kind of decor, I guess, in, in the minimalist, minimalist uh, aspects to it, because empty space or negative space is important. But it's not just in the physical, it's also empty space in time as well. So making your schedule not be packed. There should be room to breathe and ponder and meditate um, just naturally and organically, not like you're scheduling in time to meditate, but that it just, that you don't over overload yourself from a schedule standpoint to the point where those things just don't naturally exist. And that is something that I've been able to experience a lot since 2020 specifically, which has been wonderful. And um, I recently started a new Instagram for this as well um, because I'm, I'm leaning more toward uh, like minimalist witchcraft with an emphasis on my uh, ancestry. And um, it's been really nice. I know that there were days, and I've made videos about it in the past, uh, there were days where it was just like, I feel like I had to schedule bathroom breaks, just how busy I was, how busy I chose to keep myself. And the past several years, there's been, I have been like not committing to much at all, you know, which some people may think is rude, but why? Like, if, if, if there's like a, a party or an event, obviously not in the last couple, the last year and a half, uh, this hasn't been happening because of COVID, but if there's like an event or something that I don't want to go to, or if someone asks me if I want to participate in a, a project that's not mandatory, like you know, I, I don't, I don't know, and I don't want to. It doesn't, it doesn't like pump me up to think about. Then no, I say no, no, I don't want to do that. I'm sorry. Um, I've also been working a lot on prioritizing things that are important to me. That was something that I was really bad at when I made YouTube videos years ago. Because my family fell to the bottom of that list. And I'm ashamed to admit that, but that's, you know, they got what was left over. Um, after my, you know, creating videos and editing them and uploading them and then talking to people and, and don't get me wrong, I loved doing all of that, but I wasn't prioritizing my time. So now I've got non-negotiables. So family time, that's non-negotiable for me. Um, working out is also non-negotiable. So if someone asks, hey, do you want to do this thing with me? Or, hey, do you want to, I don't know, some sort of time commitment where there's a time commitment involved. I ask myself, is it going to interfere with family time? Is it going to interfere with working out? And is it going to interfere with my keeping my household? Because that's also important to me. And if the answer is yes to any of those, then I don't do it. Uh, simple as that. And it's been so nice to have just quiet moments in time and, like, not feel like I had... Like, because that's another thing, too, is, like, the culture... I'm not sure about elsewhere, but especially in America is like produce, produce, produce. And when I owned my own business, it was like, if I'm not producing content, I'm losing money. If I'm not working, I'm losing money. And you get in this like fucking mindset that all you're there is just to like pump out content or pump out uh, products or services. And that's no fucking way to live like that. No, no, thank you. I mean, some people might thrive off of that and maybe that brings them happiness, but it didn't bring me happiness at all. It brought me stress and annoyance, and I'm happy to be done with that. You know, I tried it. Yeah, not for me. I <laughs> let it go, and that's that's where we are now. But uh, that's where I think I'm going to focus my energy is on, you know, wisely spending those empty moments, the um, making sure that that my garden, to use a, an analogy, isn't getting too overplanted. That 
that there's still space for the things that I've already planted to grow and bloom and flourish and um, for the soil to stay healthy and oh God, there I am. I haven't done analogies in a long time. Apparently I only do them when I'm talking to like a group of people. <laughs> it's been a while since I've um, used like, uh, I don't know. I don't, I don't even know what I'm, I don't know what I'm fucking saying. I don't fucking know what I'm saying. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm distracted. The neighbor, the neighbor kids are running around the backyard. Not my backyard, their backyard, but they look like they're having a lot of fun. And, uh, yeah. So anyway, I hope you are all doing well. And that's pretty much, I guess, what I'm going to cover for this video. Uh, I'm not going to be doing like a come back every Wednesday for a new video type thing. Um, my videos are not going to be really polished or curated or overly produced. Just I don't have the time and it's not something that is enjoyable for me right now. In the past it has been. Uh, but right now there's other ways that I want to be spending my time like gardening for instance which maybe I'll make a video about that another time because um, that's a hobby that I picked up recently and I'm really excited about it. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will talk to you soon and let me know how you're doing in the comments below.